First, let's take a look at what we're starting with. Next, extract the plugin and move the content into the project. After that, add the lobby controller to your lobby and copy what I'm doing. Next, add the player controller to your player scene. This group is for synchronizing properties, and this group is for synchronizing functions. For functions, you have to write this manually. Now add the world controller to your world scene and do the following. Let's test it out. Don't leave yet. We are going to talk about the other features like the leaderboard and timer. You can customize the lobby here. You can add custom names to the room player by editing this. Remember that you can also customize the room player. These are all the functions you can use on each controller. Each controller has signals that you can manipulate. Also, I made a leaderboard and a timer that you can use for free. You can also customize them One last test. 